Fugitive from the church? Come on, you know what I mean. Gail, I never know what you mean. His name is Junior? Yeah. He rides a motorcycle. Listen, you're not going to tell me it's a sin or something, are you? Well, I had a motorcycle once. Not motorcycles, sex. Sex outside the church. You're having sex outside the church? Come on, outside the domain of the church. You know, the domain of marriage. Oh, the domain of marriage is in big trouble. You can screw your brains out. It won't make a bit of difference. As for the sin of it, who cares? Are you saying you don't care how I lead my life, Uncle Jack? You got it. You used to. No, I just said I did. What the hell is going on? Where is your mother? It's her in the basement. She's building an addition to the house. Do you need an addition? A rec room? Paneling? That sort of thing? No. Digging, tunneling, that sort of thing. The addition's gonna be underground. A big square room under the backyard. Don't you think that's weird? Uh, a bit. Junior thinks it's weird. <laughs> he says it won't work. We need beams, big beams for support. How is she gonna get beams? I think she's gone crazy. You should talk to her. She's your sister. She'll listen to what you say. What should I say? Say. We don't need an extra room. Tell her, Marianne can have my room. I'll sleep in the attic. Marianne is coming home. And no surprise there, right? I knew that marriage wouldn't last. Marianne is just like mom, and mom kills marriage. She killed her own, right? Well, not exactly. Yeah, well, where's my father? Gone. Dead? Insane? Some new life somewhere? He's not here, though, right? We've been telling you for years it wasn't your mother's fault. Yeah, well, you're all liars. What? No offense, it's just that when I think it comes to talking about my dad, you're all full of shit for some reason. Really? Yeah. Do you want something to eat? No. You don't look so good. How's school? Community college? Cool. Really cool. I'm gonna quit. You gonna try and talk me out of it? No, quit. Become a hairdresser. Who cares? Stylist. Hair stylist. I'm not smart enough to be anything else. Oh, please. Give me a break. See, I knew you'd try and talk me out of it. I love you. 
Okay, I'll stay, but just for the year, and that's it. Like I say, who cares? I love you, and you know why? Why? Because you love me. It's that simple. Let's go. It's time. Time for what? Time to go. Junior, this is my Uncle Jack. Uh, pleasure to meet you, Your Honor. Junior's a Protestant. Your Honor is just for judges, Junior. Force of habit? Mm -hmm. I guess. It's time. Okay, kick on. I'll catch up. What a charming young man. And a real way with words, too. Don't judge him too harshly. It's his father who's the real criminal. A record this long. Will you stop revving that thing? I'm coming! Gail, I got a pail of love for you. I'm trying to teach him alternatives oh, to a life of crime. Oh, Told him he has singing talent. Oh. Okay, but at least it'll keep him busy for a while. This is... Talk to my mom. What do you call it? Yeah, absolutely. A clear case. You know what I mean? No. What do you call it? Like I said to the cop, do you want a TV? And the cop said, yeah. So that's... What do you call it? Entrapment? Yeah, definitely. No, no, no. The cop would have to say to you, you got any TVs, and even then, it's not necessarily... Yeah? Well, so that's what he said, right? Oh, definitely. He said, do you want a TV? amongst yourselves try to come up with something better yeah i have to leave oh come on not again i'm at a crossroads i i, I need some time time to what time to well, you know i don't know anyway i have to leave and you have to come and get me elizabeth no no way i'm too busy remember when we were little mom would always send you to come get me there's something wrong sweetheart <laughs> Oh, shit, don't cry. Come on, okay, okay. I am on my way. She brings criminals into my house. What? He's a burglar. Hmm. I have friends at the police force who told me how burglars work. He's casing this place for a break-in, and he's got someone on the inside. Gail? I think she's overstimulated. Too much copulation. Generally, I don't mind. I even encourage it up to a point. All my daughters have been encouraged to copulate for the good of their general health, but Gail has had too much. Have you noticed how much Gail looks like her father? Yeah, that's true. I think it's a possible case of possession. It's possible Gail's father has seized her soul. Do you think you could investigate? Exorcism is frowned on, you know. Generally speaking, a wise position, it encourages hysteria. Mm -hmm. But in Gail's case, it could be the genuine thing. Be discreet, dear. But the next time you see her, give her a whiff. You remember Tom's smell? Give her a whiff and see if the odor is familiar. Mm. <laughs> Nora, I, I think we should talk about the work you're doing down here. This seems to be a, a, a pretty big project. Oh, it is. But we need more room. I can't build on top. Too expensive. I could have built 
on the back, but then we wouldn't have a backyard. Digging a room under the ground is dangerous, Nora. Beams, right? I know all about beams. Beams. Gail's criminal friend thinks he knows more about beams than me. But I've got friends who are architects, and they told me all about that beam stuff. <laughs> of course it's dangerous. I almost had him cave in last week. But the little ones will need a backyard, so underground is the only choice. Well, little ones, you mean Marianne's baby? The economy is not sympathetic to women with babies. <laughs> so all my daughters will be coming home as soon as they have a baby. And once they're here, they'll probably have more babies. Marianne will have more soon. Elizabeth will have some as soon as she's established in her profession. Well, Elizabeth has been a lawyer for some time, Nora. Law is not Elizabeth's profession, Jack. It isn't? No! Elizabeth will be entering politics at a certain point. She will be in charge of huge amounts of aid to all the poor people in third world countries. Elizabeth has a heart the size of a mountain. She's like you. She's like you. She's like us. Would you like some tea? Nora, I have something to tell you. You're ill. No. Please, no. be honest. If you're ill, tell me. I know you've lost your faith, but you shouldn't let it kill you. Nora, I had a phone call this morning from Tom. Tom who? Your husband. He's dead, thank God. I saw him die in my dreams. Hundreds of dreams, hundreds of deaths. Cruel, slow, painful. <laughs> he called. He's on his way home. Excuse me. I have work to do. Nora, he said if you don't let him come home, he'll go to the police. Silly. Frank. He'll go to the police with proof we tried to kill him. Stupidity. The stupidest thing I ever heard. Nora, listen, listen. <laughs> It could actually be true. Pat yourself back, please. Just try to remember. We did try to kill him. Can you remember? I can if you want me to, dear. We tried our best to kill him. If you say so, it's hard to believe, though. Yes, it is. I mean, it's not like us to fail at something like that, especially when we're trying our best. Well, maybe we weren't trying our best at all. No, I didn't. Oh. You're taking me to Mom's house? That's right. Well, why, why can't I stay at your apartment? Because I don't want you there, Marianne. What, you really like living alone? That's not what I said. I said I don't want you there. Why not? Because I'd have to take care of you, do all the cooking and washing, always telling you stupid jokes to try to cheer you up. Other than that, it'd be a blast. I thought you loved me. I mean, you always said you loved me. Yeah, maybe you were lying. Were you lying? Yes, I was. I can't stay here. Don't go home. I can't go home. I just left home. I can't just go back. You've got a problem, don't you? Better. Well, couldn't you give her some money? She won't take it, even if I had any. She wants me to save it for my campaign fund. Oh, God. You can put my luggage down, you know. You don't have to stand there holding it like a martyr. I know you think I'm weak. You are weak. Please don't be cruel. You never used to be cruel. Being a lawyer has made you cruel. You gonna cry? No. Of course you are. I'm not gonna cry anymore. 
never! I'm never gonna cry again, okay? You satisfied? Oh, Elizabeth! Ah, oh, happy reunions. The heart bursts, the stomach churns, words fail. Uncle Jack, I'm home. My marriage failed. You knew it would. I did? You didn't. Elizabeth, could I have a word with you out back for a moment? Oh, sure. stuff like that. How come you never want to hang out with my friends? Because your friends are assholes, Junior. Total assholes. Yeah? Yeah. What is this shit? Don't feel left out. They've always been close. He just wants to confide in her. He's lost his faith. He'll fall a great distance if he doesn't get it back. Oh, he's a great man. He played hockey when he was young, and he had an interesting sexual life. He sacrificed a lot to become a priest. Hi, Mom. Oh, uh, I'm covered with the mud, or I'd give you a kiss. You know that, don't you? Uh, I kissed you a lot when when you were younger. <laughs> I'm nothing against pimping. I encourage it. Remember? Yes. Where's the baby? Oh, I, I left her with Larry. Who's he? My husband. Does he like babies? He likes his own. What's wrong, Ma? You seem funny. Well, I was hoping you'd bring me a baby. Oh, she's coming eventually. I needed some time on my own. Why? Well, do you know, adjust. To what? It's hard to explain. Well, in the meantime, you better get your baby back. Your husband could become fond of it. Stranger things have happened. Call Barry. It's Larry. Call him. The phone is in the kitchen. Mom! Tell her to call Barry! Call Barry. It's Larry. Do it! <sighs> she still does what you tell her. I like that. The oldest still has influence. The family structure is intact. She looks awful, don't you think? She's like a little frightened bird, isn't she? A bird, hmm? Yeah, yeah, she's a bird. I hate birds. I'm sure Marianne knows that. Maybe she's behaving like a bird to get back at me for something awful I did to her when she was young. Oh, did I do something awful to her when she was young? No, no, just please be quiet for me. Are you thinking? You've got your thinking look on. It always used to scare me when you were young. Uncle Jack told me about Dad wanting to come back. Your Uncle Jack is not well. Don't listen to him until he gets better. He drinks, you know. Not a lot. Just enough to get him fantasizing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, he's not coming back here. No way. If that son of a bitch steps one foot in this house, I'll kill him. So will I. Good, we could all kill him. That would be nice. If your father was alive, he would need killing. We all know that. 
But he's dead. He died in some remote jungle five years ago. A tree fell on him, crushed both his legs. He lay in some primitive clinic for five days without the benefit of morphine, out of his mind with pain. <laughs> then he died. They buried him near some swamp. You never told us that. I never knew that. Did, did, did you, Elizabeth? You just made it up. I don't make things up, Elizabeth. I have no talent for that kind of thing at all. Mom, he was on the police force for 20 years. What about his pension? You would have something coming to you if he was dead. I'll make inquiries. Now, why don't the two of you make us all something to eat while I finish up downstairs? I have to put the tools away. Always clean the tools. Put them away. Start fresh the next day. <laughs> She's worse, isn't she? She's living in a fourth tense. She's taken past, present, future, and, and combined them somehow. She's not worse. She's just more intense. Well, well, why? Why is she more intense? Ask her. I'm afraid to. Yeah, because you're a bird. What? You're a bird. You're a fucking bird. What are you trying to pull with all this bird stuff anyway? You know Mom hates them. What's she ever done to you? What are you talking about? Ah. Where are you going? You gotta get something. What? You don't want to know. I didn't want to know. Why would I ask? I hate when you a do gun. that. What? Yeah, you heard me a gun. Good old dad, Mr. Wonderful, is coming home. I'm gonna blow his head off. Sorry you asked. No, no, I meant what I said before. I'll kill him too. Well, we both can't kill him. Just cook supper and call Larry. Barry. Yeah. Larry. And get your kid back. Mom wants the kid here. Okay, in a while. I gotta think about it first. And by the way, when are you gonna give that kid a name? What's the hurry? She's eight months old! So what? So forget it. Goodbye. Elizabeth! You were just kidding about the gun, weren't you? I mean, kidding about killing him? I was. I mean, you were too, weren't you? Sure. What'd he ever do to deserve being killed? Father, I'm finished. Father? Are you there, Father? Shh. I'm thinking. I'd been drilling and digging for days. Everything was going great, but yesterday, I came across the roots of that old maple tree. They're huge. They gotta go. They'll be right in the middle of the new room. There are ways. Dynamite, maybe? I'll buy a book that tells me how to do it. I don't think there's anything you can do if you can find the right book. Ugh, I really don't want to do this, Mom. You used to like it, dear. No, that's me, Mom. I like it. Marianne never likes seances. No, seances? No, no, I, I got stuff I, I gotta do. Tell him to stay put. We need a man. Why? Because we're calling the spirit of a man, a man who only respects other men. Tell him it's a way of repaying me for all the food he's eaten. How come you never talk to me directly? She's got a point. You owe her. No. Didn't I give you the advice about the beams? Tell him if he doesn't do this, there will be no more uninhibited behavior allowed in my house. She means we can't do it here anymore. What? She knows about that? Jesus, Junior, is she deaf? Is she blind? Look, it's no big deal. We do it all the time. Mom's psychic. We call the dead at least once a month. Who are we calling tonight, Mom? Your father. What? Oh, OK. Count me out. I've had spaghetti sauce on the stove. Who says he's dead? I do. Since when? Today. He died today? No, I'm saying he died today. He died five years ago. Marianne, is she telling me the truth here? I have to stir the sauce. Marianne, come on. She's telling me my father's dead. Is it true? Did you know? Leave me alone. I'm cooking. This is insane. You're supposed to be comforting me in moments like this, Mom. You know, put your arms around me. Break it to me gently. Oh, no, not you. You go ahead and call a seance. Something sure smells good. Thank you, it's my sauce. <laughs> what a bunch of dickheads. Look, somebody tell me what's going on or I'll go for suck.
Get him. Get you him. shut up! Stay put or you die! Talk! Ow! In the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit, I command you to leave this poor innocent child, you evil, murdering man! evil spirit has left her. The seance isn't necessary now. Do you believe me, Marianne? Your father is dead. Bullshit. <gasps> Things never change. They just fall apart. Just in time. unbelievable she was just trying to scare me to death but i can't be scared anymore i've been scared to the limit i was scared i, I didn't know that that blank sounded like real bullets well the secret is uh, expecting the unexpected and then expecting it to be bad i, I don't understand what that means who are you I, I, I'm, I'm junior dawson i'm gail's boyfriend Gail's the youngest. I know that. She was only five years old the last time I saw her. Which one of those women is Gail? She was the one who was laying unconscious on the floor. Did she have a fit? I don't know, maybe. She had fits when she was a baby. She had to take medication, cost me a fortune. I paid it gladly. The fits went away. When they come back? I don't know. Well, you should. If you're serious about it, get to know her liabilities and her strengths. What are her strengths? I'm not sure. She's kind of funny. Gets that from her mother's side. Wacko, the whole family. No, I mean, she's got, she's got a good sense of humor. That's odd. What you find funny? Everything. That's really odd. What's so funny about everything? I'd be suspicious. She used to laugh before she had fits when she was a kid. Maybe that's what brought them on. Don't do anything to encourage her to laugh. You might start by dressing differently. But she says she likes the way I dress. Maybe it's just good for a laugh. Take precautions. Buy some real clothes. about my future. I'm worried that my past didn't prepare me for any future. I'm worried that I won't bring my baby up right. I'm worried about the world she'll live in, that something is deeply wrong with it, that there's a, a, a general lack of, of, of faith and security in the world and in life in general. It's too much. It's too, well, it's too complicated. Yeah. Money, 
Love? Responsibility? Family? Your food? God? Children? Insanity? Death? Shopping? Traffic? Teeth? Uh, war? Poverty? Infidelity? Ignorance? Fear? Shoes? Hats? Nuclear power? Cats? Winter? Sex? I, I worry about all those things and more all the time. It's, well, it's awful. Really. Have you ever considered suicide? Well, don't look at me like that. Officially, I'm totally against it, but in your case, it might be a legitimate option. You know, I had this dream once. I was outside somewhere with, with a whole bunch of people. It was a fantastic day. Everyone was happy. Birds were singing. There was this incredible rainbow on the horizon. All of a sudden, the air was, was filled with, with beautiful music, and, and God appeared in the sky, smiled down on everyone, and everyone smiled back. And then, and then God beat me to death with a hammer. That's the saddest thing I ever heard. Oh, no, see, that's nothing. I've had way worse dreams than that. Promise me something. Promise me you'll never tell me about them, okay? I think Dad's going to stay. You have a job? I'm a musician. Hmm. What do you play? I'm a singer. Sing something. Maybe later. Definitely later. You live at home? Yeah, with my dad. What's he do? I don't, I don't want to talk about it. What's wrong? You ashamed? No. Yeah, I am. Never be ashamed of your father. Unless, of course, he's a crook. Is he a crook? <laughs> yeah, he is. Oh, that's tough. We won't dwell on that. You were a cop, weren't you? That's right. 20 years. Nine in uniform, 11 as a detective. Hold up, fraud, missing persons. I did a little bit of everything. Do you ever do homicide? Sure. Who do you want killed? Hey, hey, just kidding. <laughs> a little policeman's humor. <laughs> Pay board at home? Sure. How would you like to live here for nothing? Wait, you want me to live here? Why? I need a bodyguard. I need protection. From who? Guess. Wait. You, you need protection from your own family? You said it. Not me. Is it a deal? You stay here till I say you don't. <laughs> okay. Sure. You, out. Okay, but he, we, we... Out, shit face, before I drag you out by your hair. 
Okay, I'm leaving, but it's not because I'm afraid. It's... Ah! That boy scares easy. Recognize this? Sure. It's my old double bag. That's right. I want you to take it. Get out! Sit down, Elizabeth. Let's talk. No, let's not. I have a legal right to be here. No, no, that's not true. You know what I do for a living? I'm a lawyer. No kidding. How'd you manage that? Hard work in a fierce sense of competition. I mean the money. Prostitution. Student loan or something? I told you prostitution. What are you doing here? I'm needed here. Oh, where'd you get a message? Somebody sent you a message that they needed you? I've been everywhere. I've seen starving people everywhere I've been. They're not going to take it much longer. They're going to be coming here looking for relief. I'm here to protect the family. Oh, I get it. <laughs> You're nuts, right? Read the newspapers. Carefully. These starving people are getting restless. They want what we've got. We've got to hide the wealth. Oh, come on, look around. What wealth? This is a palace compared to what they're used to. How much money do you give your mother? Nothing. Nothing? No, she won't take it. How does she get by? She works. Where? She works here, stuffing envelopes. That's the last question I am answering. You are a real piece of work, mister. What the fuck do you care how my mother gets by? You deserted this family, you rotten son of a bitch. You can't stay here. I know what you did here before you left. You are lucky they didn't lock you up. They're lucky I didn't lock them up. You're the victim of vicious propaganda. But I forgive you. I'm calling the police. I wouldn't do that. Talk to your mother first. Yeah, talk to mom. Good luck. Go back to bed. <laughs> Are you talking to your filing clerk? I mean it, Gail. I mean it, Gail. Give me a break. I'm not a kid anymore. You can't intimidate me. Great. I don't want to intimidate you. I just want you to get the hell out of here. Ow! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Come down! Gail! Gail! I made it! I'm warning you! I'm going! Okay! I'm going! Your next asshole! God! Hey! Hey! God damn it! Gail! Jesus! Hey! Gail! Hey! 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 Gail! Gail! So you're my dad, huh? So he's my dad. But... But what does that word mean, really? I mean, to me, well, to me, it just means trouble, confusion, violence. You know what I think? I think everything that's wrong with me can be, can be traced right back to him. Maybe. Well, well, why do you think he's back? I mean, what does he want? He must want something. I don't know. Well, well what are you going to do about it? I don't know. My coffee, Father? I don't know. I missed you, you know. I don't even have a picture of you. I threw them all out. You really pissed them off. A little misunderstanding. I know all about it. You do? Well, not really. I was pretty young, but I've drawn conclusions based on certain things, and I've decided I'm on your side. I'm glad. So listen, I'm quitting school. I've decided to become a hairdresser. Good for you. Yeah, so that's all right? You don't think that's stupid? I don't know. I'm not smart enough to be anything else. Oh, too bad. So you... So here we are. I had a dream about this. It, it, it was a little bit different. We kissed and hugged. That's okay, though. I mean, maybe that's awkward. But maybe... I don't know, it's not. Who knows? I can kiss you. 
I can do that. Sure, I can do that, sure. Nelly, no doubt about it. We're piling them up. Ducks on the pond, number 42. It's, it's out of here! She wants to be a saint. I'm keeping track of her miracles, Father. Oh, I'm smart enough to be anything I want. Smarter than Elizabeth, and she's a lawyer. I just want to be a hairdresser because I've given up. I don't really care about things. That's depressing, huh? Is it? Sure it is. Someone as smart as me becoming a hairdresser is depressing as hell. The thing is, is I'm emotionally deprived. I think it's Mom. She's been really weird these past few years. Your mother's always been weird. It's in her blood. The whole family is paranoid schizo. It's kind of cruel. I don't think I want you talking about my mom like that. Hey, it's okay. I was just kidding. Yeah. Uh, Why are all the lights out inside the house? Listen, hey, we're supposed to be talking about me. So, listen, I need love and affection. So if you're going to stay, you got to do your job right. You've got to be a real father. Generous, affectionate, you know, nice. And then maybe I'll stick it out in school for the year. No promises, we'll see how you do. Stay where you are. I am not gonna let you hurt him. Where you been? Out. What's he been telling you? Plenty. He can't be trusted, Gail. He lies. Yeah, says you. Listen, this guy's my dad, and he's gonna liberate me. You're liberated. Why can't I get liberated? Liberated from what? From her. Shut up. What do you want, to break her heart? She's broken mine. She totally ignores me. She lives in her own freaky little world. Jesus, Elizabeth, I want a parent. Dad stays. Yeah, if he's alive when I'm finished with him, he, he can stay. Why is she calling the stranger dad? What? What are you talking about? Who is this man? Do you know him? What? This is my father, your husband? No, I'm sorry. I know dead fathers are sore points with certain people, but I don't think I should be expected to accept marriage to a total stranger. No. Are you saying this isn't dad, Mom? Oh, that's right. Encourage her. This is dad, Mom. Believe me. Well, if it makes you happy, Elizabeth, this man can be your father. I didn't know you felt so strongly about it. Okay, I'm gonna start smashing things. However, your real father is dead and still inhabits the body of your sister. Here, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit! That's it! This piece of shit goes oh, first! no, not my mother's boss! He hated my mother! Tom, put that down. I'll pay you 50 bucks if you put it down. Don't call me Tom! Tell her to stop calling me Tom! Mom, stop this. Tell him to put down the buzz. Give him 50 bucks. That was his usual price to cease destruction. Put it down, Tom. You called me Tom! Come on, I'll give you 50 bucks! Fuck you! Oh! Ah! Oh, you little bastard! You should love you! Who screamed? Gail. Not exactly. What's wrong with her? It worked. I exorcised him. I smelt his evil spirit as it was leaving her body. Don't be angry, Jack. I know it's not sanctioned. We haven't been introduced.
great project, Nora. As I said, it's got ambition, flexibility. He saw the ambition of it right away. We had to discuss it for a while before he saw the flexibility. I'm going to measure that old car out there. By measuring it, we can determine the weight. Hmm. We're selling it for scrap. Ambition and flexibility are things I've admired all my life. He knew that about me as soon as he saw it. Saw what? That hole downstairs? Jack, please. It's not a hole. It's a room. And it could be more. It could be anything. A place to store vegetables. A safe place to hide. Hide? From what? Lots of things. I better let the stranger tell you. Nora, he's not... A... What? He can't stay. In theory, you're right. It would be a disruption of the family, but he knows things. Things that might help us to live better. What things? Jack, this man reads the newspapers carefully. He's figured out certain things. He has information about the future. $350. That's what that car's gonna be worth for scrap. I'm gonna buy a hell of a lot of canned goods. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm not really feeling very well. The priest guy's a skeptic. Too many years living under the shadow of God. Sucks the free will right out of a man. By the way, Tom, do you mind if we don't call you Tom? There are painful echoes. Uh, do you mind if we call you Tim? Sure. Tim's all right with me. Hmm. <laughs> Got a dicey situation here. Your mother wants him to stay. Why? The emotional denial, I guess better for her emotionally, to give him a new identity, a new start or something. Emotional denial? Yeah, I, I think that's one of the things I'm suffering from because that's Shut what Shut up! We are talking about a crazy, violent drunk. Guy who once took all our clothes and gave him the goodwill. Guy who had a nasty habit of waving a loaded gun at us. A guy who once tried to burn this house down when we were asleep in our beds. Does not sound like a guy who needs a second chance, at least not to me anyway. I mean, that's what it looks like, Jack. It looks like he's getting a second chance that he just doesn't deserve. So what are we going to do about that? Well, for one thing, I, I think he has to be watched very closely. Oh, yeah, I bet that's my responsibility, right? Well, forget it! i got my own life! i got a job, anyway. I've got a lot of other things to worry about. I guess maybe what I should really do is just let this fucking family solve its own fucking crazy problem. It's a complicated situation. Everyone has to do what they think is best for them. Well, what's best for me?
Everything's under control. Everything's fine. Thank you very much. It's okay. Everything's okay. Please, let's just move along. Move back. Move back. Thank you. Just move along. Everything's under control. Thank you. Thank you. Not an auspicious beginning for the new family unit. All right, everybody, listen up. We are going to create something really special here. And I'm not talking about some fantasy enterprise. I'm talking about a theory of cooperation based on the reality of place. And the reality of place here is a kind of consumer cooperation. Uh, construction projects like this. Uh, the selling off of useless things like that old car, the stuffing of envelopes. All these projects are laying the foundation for a new world. A new world dedicated to survival through self-protection. History's gonna play a dirty trick on this country. The sins of global imbalance are coming home to roost and we have to be prepared. Now, are you with me? Huh? Are you with me? Are you with me? Hey, thanks, Eddie. Here's your Hey, darling. Nothing for us? Yeah, I told you I wanted something mm. sweet, right? Oh, man, she's yeah. sweet. Let's eat her. Mm. I told you, <laughs> when I'm around, these assholes don't get to talk. You got that? Ooh. Ooh. Junior, you come yeah. with me? How about letting us all come with you, baby? <laughs> <laughs> Die, okay? Can you come home and All right, Romeo, I'll see you later, baby, all right? All right. What, what, what about Elizabeth? Forget Elizabeth. It's not like she has control over anybody. My dad wants you there. He's got all these ideas. What ideas? I don't know. I don't really understand them. But the thing is, is he's my dad, and he's back. And that makes us like a family, kind of. And we never really were before. So if you wanted to, because you know, I think of you as... Well, if you want to just come and be a part of the family, that'd be great. I'd be a part of the family. Yeah, I and mean, that's what my dad says. He says he needs your help with all of his ideas, and he says he's got lots for you to do. Anyway, think about it, let me know. Oh, what about my singing career? Singing stinks, Junior. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. oh, listen, you know, does my singing kind of stink? <laughs> you suck, man. You didn't know that. No, thanks for telling me. I just wasted a half a year of my life. I took singing lessons. Yes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Dude, you're one stupid fuck, man. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you. No, fuck, no, fuck, fuck you, asshole. See you guys later. Yeah. You remember us when you're famous, Junior. <laughs> <laughs> you still got love for baby, you know that. So tell me, what do you think of your family? What do you mean? Well, must be like meeting a whole new group of people. What do you make of them? What do you want me to make of them? I don't know. Couldn't you just leave them alone? You're worried about their safety, aren't you? You think I'm going to harm them again? Relax, Jack. I'm a new man.
supposed to get this thing up by lunch. A lot of rules around here now, aren't there? He's got a plan. We're going to be the only safe people in this whole neighborhood. I wouldn't take that stuff too seriously, Junior. I think that's just something he's doing to bring us all together. Really? You think so? Yeah, it's got to be. I just wish he'd talk to me more, you know? I told him I just wanted him to be nice, but everything's about work, you know, and discipline or something. I'm happy. I do a job. Somebody says, good job, Junior. I eat something, then I get to go to bed with you. You're basically a pretty simple guy, aren't you? Yeah, I guess I am. Uh, nothing. I, I, I found this old doll, and I, I, I was just... Marianne, you were always a selfish little girl. I thought you changed a bit by this time. This job provides a basic income for this family. People are relying on you for a serious day's work. I, I know, but... Um... Don't you think it's time you started to think about other people's needs besides yourself? Yes. Because until you do, you're not going to be much good to anyone, including your baby. Well... Oh, I am. I well. I, I, I don't know. Yeah. Hello. 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 Yeah. Good work. $200 or 30 days. Three to five years, followed by six months mandatory supervision. Five consecutive life sentences, no parole. Get the phone. It's mom.
rules. One of them is we don't waste power. Whose rules? Tim's. Who the fuck's Tim? Tim is what we call Tom. You know, to avoid the painful echoes. I don't like this. I don't like any of this. Oh, yeah? Well, maybe that's because you're an outsider. Someone who, who never comes around anymore. Someone who, who's not up on the, the finer points of consumer cooperation. You just don't get it. Get what? We've got rules. We've, we've got jobs. My job is to stuff envelopes with, with, with the advertisements from drugstores. Actually, that's just the first part of my job. The second part is, is to devise a more efficient way of doing the first part. You see, this requires thinking. And thinking prevents me from worrying. Marianne, shut up. What is that? night shift. What? Eight at night till three in the morning. Six hours sleep, breakfast, and work again till five. One hour for dinner and, and two hours of Tim's new political theories. This, this is just a little break for all the happy night shift workers. Jesus. Please, Elizabeth. You don't know what it's like. You are the only one that can help us. Please, make him stop. Follow me. Yes. Where's the piano? Where's the TV? We sold them. We said they were eaten. But I found your cans of stewed tomatoes. Why stewed tomatoes? Because of the high vitamin count. Shut up. OK. Hi. How we doing tonight? We're upset. We seem to have wandered into the wrong house. We seem to have wandered into some perverse social experiment. We think it sucks. We think it should stop. And we think if it doesn't, we'll mangle your face. You don't trust progress. I don't trust you. Things are improving here. Life is improving. Life is organized and things are working again. The back burner on the stove is working. The faucet is working. The light in the refrigerator is working. The stairs have been repaired. The basement sanctuary is right on schedule. Now, what's not to trust in that? Why do you call the basement the sanctuary? Why do you call the sanctuary a basement? It's just your point of view. I want to talk to my mother. Good. She missed you. I've got to get back to work. So good. I'll talk to you later. I can hardly wait. Good evening, dear. You've gained weight. No, I haven't. You look much heavier compared to your sister. I think I've lost weight, Ma. It's for a good cause, dear. Whatever you don't eat has a chance of getting eaten by someone else more needy. That's a political theory. Tim gave me these. I'm learning about politics. That's great, Mom. Tell me what you learned so far. This is not the time to humor her, Elizabeth. This is the time to be direct. Go inside. But I want to stay out here. Do it! Okay. So go on, Mom. I'm learning how the world operates. You know it's scary. It's complex and scary. And so that's why all the barbed wire and the bars and all the windows in the sanctuary you're building down here? We're just protecting ourselves from looters. Oh, Mom. Mom, this is crazy. And we're all working together like a family. Tim has helped make us. By the way, Elizabeth, speaking of Tim, I'm thinking of having sex with him. What do you think of that idea? Oh, my God. I'm not feeling... <laughs> I had a rough day today. I lost 12 cases today. That's some kind of record. Jeez, I'm not feeling great. I think I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna lie down here and take a little nap. I'm just... Whoa, well, you know what I think I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna... <laughs> 
she's gonna go upstairs and just have a little rest. Is that okay? <laughs> I'll just be just a minute. Or... Is that okay? <laughs> Tim? Oh, Tim? Yeah? Can you come up here for a moment? So? So what do you say? Thank you. Mad girl. Hi. I don't think six hours sleep is enough. Do you? Larry used to let me sleep until noon sometimes. He'd just take the baby out into the park and, you know, play with her. You miss your baby, Marianne? I don't want to talk about it. What are you guys doing anyway? Inventory. You have to count the supplies every day, make sure nothing's been taken. Then we have to check the tools, make sure they're in good working order. And this, of course, is not odd behavior for two seemingly intelligent adults. Of course it's odd. We know it's odd. You think we're morons? But we're trying to create a family here, okay? Dad's back, okay? So maybe he didn't come back normal, but maybe if we cooperate for a while, he'll get normal. Don't hold your breath. What are you still doing here? Don't you have a job to go to? I hate my job. I'm thinking of quitting my job. Oh, really? What would you do then? Well, I could go back to prostitution, or I could join this fascinating experiment in behavior modification you got going here. I sense a threat here, a deep cynicism. You do? Yeah. I've got an awful lot to accomplish, Elizabeth, and not much spare time. So if you're thinking of taking me on, I'm going to have to deal with you very quickly. Excuse me. I have to go get my morning papers. Charming guy. Mom thinks so. They were doing it last night. Doing what? Sex, Marianne. Can't believe you didn't hear them. She sounds like she was having a pretty good time. Hey, where are you going? Hey! Hey! Gail, come here and look! Look! I went to go pick up the stewed tomatoes. Only guess what? They're not just stewed tomatoes. They're canned fruit, too. It's a gift. It's a gift from Tim for doing so good. Come on, help me unload them. What's wrong, Ma? I'm a little worried. I had a sexual experience last night. We know. Oh, well. Um, it began in the shower. 
He soaped me. I soaped him. Ma, you're not going to give us all the details, are you? Well, if I don't lead up to it properly, I don't think you'll understand. We're both experienced, Ma. The details tend to be more or less the same. Orgasms are wonderful things, aren't they? I'd forgotten. It's been so long. Orgasms are incredibly interesting sensations. That's not the problem. Lucky you. As for oral sex, well, I can take it or leave it. Ma, let's just get to the, to the problem, the thing that's really bothering you. Power and dominance and violence. If you take away the orgasm and the shower, I think that's what last night was really about. Did he hurt you? Well, at one point, he looked like he wanted to kill me. I remember that look. Like your father. Tim's like your father in some ways, isn't he? I think I made a mistake becoming intimate with Tim. I was just trying to make the situation complete. Tim knows how to get things done. He's brought a lot of improvement into our lives here. I just wish he didn't want to kill me. Hi. Hi. You get that stuff loaded in? Yeah. Good work. I, I just want to say thanks. What for? I like canned fruit. I like canned fruit a lot. Aren't you supposed to get this thing back pretty soon? Oh, yeah. No problem. I'm the only one in this family who knows anything about the outside world. The only world you know about is the one inside your lunatic skull. I know about the real world. Really? Is that so? Do you know about the future? The future is the same as the past or the present. It's full of tyranny and chaos, bitterness and suffering, with just enough joy thrown in to make it endurable. You're wrong. There's nothing in the future that's endurable. The future is total shit. Nothing is total shit. You're thinking about the future is like you're thinking about everything else. It doesn't go far enough. It doesn't include compassion. Compassion? I've got experience. I've got experience and compassion. I can fix things. So can I. I can, I can motivate people. Me too. I can kill. What? Yeah. I can kill. With my bare hands, I can rip flesh. I can take knives and cut throats and shove it into bellies. When the total shit future comes in here, I'm the only one who can look it in the eye and keep it out of this fucking house. I can lie, I can steal, I can cheat, I can bake, I can grovel, I can betray, I can burn things to the ground to protect this family because I'm the soldier of the total shit future. I'm the provider of the total shit future. I'm the basic ingredient for survival. You're insane. Maybe, but I love you and I love this family. I don't want to love. This family doesn't need you. The love of an insane man will be priceless in the total shit future. Can't scare me with that talk. Sure, I can. You get your power by scaring people with your insane talk. So just knock it off. 
Shut the fuck up! Don't talk to me anymore! No, no, you! No! Talk to me like that! No! You don't get in my way! Ah! My house! My no! You get it? No! You get it? No! Get it? You get it? Family is a mysterious thing, Jackie. It's beyond your comprehension. A man has got a special responsibility in a family. It's totally different from what a woman's got. It's... It's almost physical. It's a feeling. It's a feeling of what you gotta do. You gotta do it with your hands, with your body. There's muscles in a man's body made for taking on this kind of responsibility. You know that. You were a man before you were a priest, right? You gotta remember these things I'm telling you, right? Tom, you got it all mixed up. At some point, being a father and being a husband stopped being a good thing for you. It made you crazy. It, it, it made, and the craziness in here met up with the craziness in the world, and you came up with ideas that are just basically garbage. No, no. No, they're garbage. No, they're not. They're dangerous, evil shit no. that you brought with you and you put in this house. You have to go. I'm not going anywhere. I belong here. I'm staying here forever. Listen, you crazy bastard. One way or another, you're out of here. Things are better here. You know they're better. Better? Are they they're, not, better. they're not better. They're better. They're better here. You know they're better here. Barbed wire. They're better. Daddy? Daddy? Some of the earth you've been warning us about? They're here. You gotta take the bad with the good. What the hell's going on? Ah, oh, it was Gail's in here. What is it? Well, let's just call it your worst nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone read the newspapers carefully? She's pretty smart, Gail. She's like you in a lot of ways. Yeah, but not as tired and messed up. 
Jesus, what is it with this family? Can any clown just walk in here and take over, and all they have to say is, oh, I can make it better? He wasn't just anyone, Elizabeth. He was Dad. I knew Dad. I knew Tom. A new way of talking, a new way of doing things. Some of them crazy. But a more positive kind of crazy. Better than the first time. Or maybe I just thought so because the first time was so bad. I think you really messed him up. No, it was good that he was here because now we know that he shouldn't be here. Woo, let's go! I'm gonna have to go too. Not if you don't want to. But your dad was the one who wanted me here. I wanted you here. I like you here. I like it here a lot. See you, Uncle Jack. Oh, goodbye, Jeff. Bye. Have a safe trip. See ya. Hey, where are you going? Dork's gonna give me a lift home. Hey, it's not Dork, it's Pork, all right? Okay, sorry. <laughs> I have to go visit Larry and Samantha and Melinda. Who's that? My baby. <laughs> Very courageous decision to give her a name, I mean. I know. <laughs> See ya. Yeah. Come on. See you, Pork. Later, man. See you, I promise sweetie. you wouldn't go too fast. I promise. Bye, Dorothy. And you'll go straight to my house? <laughs> yeah, I promise. Have you been drinking? No, I haven't. Samantha Melinda? Eh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what are we going to do about this? There's a big hole in the backyard. And it's dangerous. Kids could just come in and fall into it. Oh. And it's ugly. What was it for anyway? Did it have a purpose? Was it supposed to help us achieve higher standard of living? That must be it. I wouldn't do anything that I didn't think wouldn't help us to live better. Babies. I think it had something to do with babies. Mary Ann's baby. And the other babies, babies that'll be here sooner or later. Kaylin Jr. will have babies. And so will you, Elizabeth? Yes, you will, dear. All my daughters will have babies. And they'll bring them here whenever they want to. So, whatever this was supposed to be, what it is going to be in the future, will be something good for babies. 
and kids, kids who just drop by. I'm thinking about happiness. I think happiness is something we should all work towards. <laughs> Why not? What's wrong with happiness? I bet some of you haven't even tried it out. If not for you, what bewildered eyes I'd see through. You once wiped away the tears of confusion. I now sing through while remembering mm. those years. Do you see me as a child? Look inside to recall the life I come from Hold a mirror to your face To reveal the life I go to Lines of time we can't retrace May I see you as a child Running free and laughing wild Oh, laughing wild Child. 